Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasha. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They will both be linked down below. For today's video, I'm just sharing with you guys some of my IKEA favorites that are perfect for an apartment. Most of these I own personally or have owned in the past. They're super great items and I really think you guys should check them out. So I will have the links to everything listed in the description box down below for you guys. And without further ado, we can just jump right into it. All right, so the first item that I'm going to talk about is probably like my top favorite Ikea piece. Like this would be number one. If I could only have one item from Ikea, it would be this Hubbit mirror. Now this is something that I personally own. I'm actually looking at it. It's right in the corner over there. I love it. It's a great full length mirror. It's at a really good price point, but do keep in mind, Ikea has been having a lot of trouble stocking it recently. So I would look out for it. If it's available, I would snag it while you can. I think because of the price point, several people are interested in it. I did get a comment from one of you guys asking if I thought that it was going to be discontinued because they said in Canada, it is no longer on the website. I haven't heard any news that this piece is going to be discontinued and I don't really see why they would since I do know for a fact that it's one of their top sellers. So I think that they're going to have it for a long time. That's just my personal opinion. I haven't heard anything about it being a discontinued item. This is the perfect item for any apartment, any small apartment. It's great. It brings in a lot of light. It reflects really nicely off of it and will make your space appear a lot larger than it is. Again, the size of it is just like perfect. It's really large and you're getting like a large, good quality mirror for a great price. So that is something I would like recommend you picking up. 100% for your apartment. The next thing is probably number two when it comes to Ikea products. This is under that mirror, how much I love this piece. And that is the Besta Buffet. So of course this is a buffet piece. It is meant for your dining room. However, that is not how I used it. I used it as a TV console. I have had this thing, I think for like three years now love it it's holding up perfectly it's gone through a move it's still looking great and it comes in a ton of different options i know for a fact that these pieces wear really well and they can handle a lot so that is something that i would definitely recommend as a console it's a few hundred bucks as opposed to a few thousand dollars and i think it's a really good quality tv console especially if you're starting out and you are in an apartment the next thing is this bed frame and i saw this in the store and i was like wow this is a very simple minimal mid-century modern bed frame and if I was in the market or needed a new bed frame I would definitely pick this up it reminds me a lot of my couch which is from West Elm it has kind of like that same vibe to it it kind of almost seems like it would be from the same collection but it's not it's just an Ikea piece it's a little over a hundred dollars a great option if you're in the market and you're moving out for the first time too I would definitely recommend checking out Ikea for a bed frame they have a ton of different options but this one in particular caught my eye I think it's a great neutral tone and it can match with a lot of different styles next is this console if you guys have been subscribed to my channel you guys may have seen I did a DIY where I turned this into a bar cart which is a really great option for an apartment if you're looking for something and if you want to kind of get the look for less West Elm has a bar cart similar to this it's like a thousand dollars so what I did was kind of like put a few things on it to make it a bar cart and again definitely a lot cheaper this one is under $100 99.99 so basically a hundred bucks but I think it's a really great piece it comes in two different colors and also I think like for an apartment entryway if you had this and then you just put like a circle mirror above it and then put like a plant hanging from it like that is literally your perfect apartment entryway and it doesn't break the bank next I'm sharing with you guys this coffee table that is from actually one of my favorite IKEA collections they have a media console um, some bookshelves different like storage pieces that come within this collection they have a little like laptop stand everything looks exactly the same but it's very sleek it's high quality and it's a great design this in particular is under 50 bucks it's a great coffee table it's good quality it's so much cheaper than anything else you're going to get you can also get it and use it for a while and then the glass top like a piece of round glass like this costs like 150 dollars so you can even repurpose the glass top and make like your own coffee table which is what i've done for diys in the past just because it's such a good quality piece of glass that's on there and like i said those tend to be a lot more expensive but it's a great coffee table it can kind of match with anything and if black isn't your style it does come in white all you have to do is add a 
a little bit of gold spray paint if those aren't the colors that you are going for and you can turn it into your desired color for your coffee table. Next is this table lamp. I have the floor lamp from this collection and I absolutely love it. A great way to get that mid-century modern vibe in your apartment for less. Lamps like this can tend to be a lot of money. This one is $39.99, which is just crazy to me that this is around that price point. I personally had one in the past that was like one globe on it and it was like 80 bucks. So you get two globes on this lamp for less than that, which is great. It's good quality. I love the silver on it. It looks very high end to me. So I would definitely recommend picking those up. I actually think I want to get one for my bedroom in here because I do have the floor lamp, which is a little bit taller. I have that out in my living area. But for in my bedroom, these table lamps would look perfect. Adding plants to your apartment is a great way to purify the air as well as just add a pop of color. It's something that I love to do. I tend to not decorate with too much color, but my plants can add that little bit of color to my space. These concrete planters from Ikea are awesome. Super great quality. Again, these are actually a concrete piece that is really affordable. They come in a few different sizes and you can just go ahead and go to like your local nursery, pop some plants in there and you are good to go for your apartment. They do have lots of other options for planters that are super, super affordable. So if you're looking to add greenery to your apartment, definitely check out Ikea. The next item is this quilt. And I do notice that it says last chance on the website or last time to buy, something like that. So if you're interested in this item, I would highly recommend picking it up. It comes in a few colors, but this quilt is basically a dupe for the parachute home quilt. I own both. So I do have the parachute home version and I do have this version. They're very similar. Obviously the parachute home one is just a little bit softer, a little bit more luxurious, but if you're looking for something that will run you a little bit less money, I would highly recommend this quilt. It will keep you super warm and you're still getting that aesthetic look that you're looking for, for a little bit less. Again, it's perfect if you're just moving out an apartment and you're a little bit on a budget definitely go ahead and pick up one of these quilts. They are awesome. This next thing is a new arrival and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, these are seriously so cool. They remind me of like a very 70s mid-century modern piece of furniture. Again, very different, very unique from what Ikea usually does, but these would be perfect as an accent chair in your apartment. Again, you're getting that 70s mid-century modern look for less. You're not gonna break the bank buying any of the accent chairs that are really popular right now that can tend to be a lot of money. It comes in a few different colors and I just think this is such a great option. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick up two of the olive ones and use them in my living room. I've been wanting some form of accent chair actually for my living room, but I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on it. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually a really great option. Next are my favorite side tables from Ikea. They are super affordable. I've also used these in a DIY before and turned them into a concrete piece and that is just these tray side tables. They have a little tray on top, so you can actually take it off and use it as a tray. So what I did was I just filled that with concrete and turned it into a concrete furniture piece. But these are just great to have as bedside tables. They're actually only $19.99 each. So if you're trying to get that look where you have two nightstands on each side of the bed, this is a great way to achieve that look without spending a ton of money. Nightstands are super expensive, and when you have to buy two to get that look, it can really break the bank. So I would definitely recommend doing something like this. It also is a great way that you can try out a trend and see if you like it. Sometimes when I had two nightstands, I felt like it was too much. So this is a great way to see if you like that trend. And then if you don't, you can always use these side tables other places. They're great to have next to your couch or what I like to do is use them to have like plants on top of them, especially if you have those plants that like kind of grow down, you can have one on top. Just a perfect option, again, super affordable. So buying a sofa at Ikea for your apartment is actually a good option and I will explain to you guys why. When I first moved out, I did not splurge on a sofa. I think when you're first moving out or you're in an apartment, it takes a while to learn what your exact style is and what exactly you're looking for within a sofa. So it's not something that I think you should go out and on your first time buying, a sofa like spend a ton of money i went through a few cheaper sofas before i decided to actually splurge and spend a lot of money on mine but one thing i do like about ikea for sofas for example is that you can go into an ikea and they have them all out for you to try and that is not the case for any of these larger stores if you go into west elm they tend to only have one sofa 
on display. I got lucky and my cousin has the same sofa that I have just in a different finish. So I was able to sit on it and see how comfortable it was prior to purchasing, but that isn't always the case for everyone. They don't have that option. So that is why I think Ikea is great for that. This sofa in particular, I have used before on a room makeover for someone and they absolutely loved it. I thought it was super comfortable for the price point. And I actually did discover that there is a company I forget the name off the top of my head, but I will link it down below. They actually take all of like the Ikea sofas and they make different covers for them. These covers are made out of fabrics like linen and whatnot that will basically take your Ikea sofa and make it look so luxurious. I think it's a really great brand. So I will, again, like I said, link that down below because if you do decide to get an Ikea sofa, I think it's a great option to invest in one of these covers that, like I said, just kind of elevate them. They look no different than any other more expensive sofa once you add these covers to them. But this one in particular, to me, it looks great just as is and it does come in a few different color options. The next thing is a rug that I more recently purchased. I actually ended up giving it to my mom, but it is such a good rug option. It's like that like vintage style looking rug, but obviously a more affordable option. It's super soft. It doesn't look cheap at all. It's really high quality. I wasn't expecting that. I knew it was kind of like meant to look like it was worn down, but when I saw it in the store, I was like, wow, this is actually really exceptional quality. So I think this is a great option if you're looking for an area rug. Again, if you're trying to get the look for less of like that vintage style rug, I would highly recommend trying out this rug. Again, it's super soft and comfortable. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys would like to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.